Hi everyone, Roy Neary from Data Spinners and TGG. Uh, today we are going to do Power Apps Flow integration. So love is in the air and it is the love between Power Apps and Microsoft Flow. I don't know if it's a romance or a bromance or whatever it is, but uh, there is definitely something going on there. So we're going to just jump straight through to a Canvas app where I've done some bits and pieces. So here we go. So as you can see, we are on a very simple app. It has got two text inputs, that's line two, line uh, line one. There's button one where we're going to call the flow and we've got a label which is going to be outputs from the flow. So all we're going to do in this flow is initially just to combine the, I'm just going to pump up the size here. Um, we are just going to combine the first line and the second line and then it will push out into this box. We'll do it using flow. Clearly we could do it um, lots of other ways. But um, So what we're going to do is we're going to jump onto flows. Now if there was a useful flow here we'd be able to make use of that but we, um, we're going to actually build a flow from scratch here. So go create a new flow. Now, the great thing about this is it is in the right environment and uh, it's also done the uh, Power Apps step for us. What I'm going to do is going to just jump onto Flow and just show you that you can actually start from directly from Flow, but you just need to be a little bit more careful. So you would need to go to Flow uh, and then you would go to New and you would go Create from Blank and then you would search for hundreds of connectors or triggers. Then you would type in Power Apps and power apps and then you're at roughly the same stage but i think that this is slightly better doing it directly from within power apps because it, you've already got that connection made for you so i'm just going to kill this one here and uh, leave that and i am just going to do a new step so what i'm going to do is do is i'm going to make it slightly more complex so i'm going to just do initialize some variables so i'm just going to go for built in it's been a bit tricky actually doing it this but we'll see how it goes and uh, so we're going to initialize it variable and we'll do enter variable names so we'll call it var line one uh, it's not going to be a boolean it's going to be a string and the value is going to be uh, if you actually just see you actually clicked on see more and then actually I'm going to do um, make sure you rename this uh, piece here uh, var string uh, I'll put var line one. It's really important you actually do that because when you do the um, hit the Seymour and then you ask in Power Apps, it actually looks at this top line here. So you go ask in Power Apps, you can see var line one underscore value. Great. So and then what we'll do is we'll do a new step and we'll do var line two. Now the final stage, uh, well at the moment, we're just going to do a new step and we're going to do type in respond. But I think uh, there's, it's been a little bit squiffy on the um, on this bit here. Yeah, this this respond seems to be working now. Um, and what we do is we do respond to power apps. This is really really important. So what this is, uh, it what well, is what our response, which is essentially is going to be a combination of var line one and line two. Um, but what it means is that, that we can actually change it in the middle, maybe add cognitive services or something along the way. So I'm going to put the type of output is going to be text and the output is going to be enter the title. We'll do, um, there we are, uh, value to respond and we'll do var line one. And I'm just going to click back on there, put a space in. You can hardly see these spaces, by the way. And then var line two. So this is uh, essentially it's just going to concatenate the two of them. And that now I do need to be careful with that because I didn't actually change um, uh, this so I'm not sure if I've done it too late um, res um, flow response let's see what happens uh, so that should basically combine the two of them I am going to do I need to save it and I'll call it two t uh, I think it's 40 uh, power apps plus flow. So I'm going to keep the pace going here and so we'll save out of that. Now, I don't normally do it this way but this is going to be interesting getting that going so I should be able to close out of that. This always happens so I won't worry about that and now we're going to go ask in Power Apps and let's just see if we can actually see that and that's kind of not a huge surprise to be honest. So I'm going to go on to flows and we should be able to see our Power App. Not, we haven't seen it yet 
Now it's we kind of need a bit of a refresh, so I'm just going to do that, and then um, I'll save the I'll save the app, and then I'll just close and reopen it, and I'm sure it'll be fine. So I've just done a uh, uh, closed it out and then reopened it. I've now moved on to the action tab, hit the flows, and then what we're going to do is we can see our flow. We click on it like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this call flow button first. Then I move to flows and then onto this power apps and flow. And then when you click on that, it adds it. And then what it does, it actually adds it into the button itself. So what we'll see in a minute, and that on select, it changes. So it's this, yeah, obviously a bit of a rubbish name, to be honest, TT Power Apps Plus Flow, but anyway. Uh, so what it's going to do is it's going to run. And what we're going to do is we need var line one underscore value, var line two underscore value. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to do txt line one comma txt line two and then close the bracket and then in order to get our response we have to put a dot at the end of it and then we call it var combined so that that is our response now that's not quite enough because all it's going to do is it's just going to kind of run it but nothing's going to actually happen to the flow will run but it won't actually do anything as such so in order to make this do something we need to set it so we do set and we go gv my response comma which is like equals close the bracket and then close it over there and then what we're going to do is on this text we'll put the this will be gv my response will go in there so obviously you can see it's got nothing at the moment so what we should find is that if we call our flow and we put in my first line my second line and then we do call flow. What we're expecting to see is that when we click the button, it will run the flow and it will respond in this area here. You can see it run at the top and you can see that it did both of those two things there. So that's quite good. So you can stop watching now or you can uh, watch for a little bit longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to extend the flow now to do some cognitive services. So what we're going to do is we are going to go on to flow let's actually have a quick look to see if we can jump through it here and see if we can actually hit the dots and actually do the edit brilliant we can do edit that's fantastic so what we're going to do here is instead of that flow response being in fact what we can do is we can maybe add an app so what we could do on here is we can do add add an action and we go cognitive cognitive services it's called text analytics text analytics that's the one there so what we're going to do is we're going to do detect detect sentiment so actually i haven't done detect language so that'd be quite good fun so i'm going to do detect language on that text to analyze uh, and we'll do um var line one space var line two it's not going to be very interesting though is it but you know what we'll do it anyway um so detect language um that's fine and then in the flow response that means we could potentially have that as a response so we put text and we call it var language language and then we'll call it um this detect language thing here the unique document identifier Let's just check this here. Do you know, I have literally no idea what it's going to do, but the other thing I'm going to do is going to chuck in here. So the value, the value there, we'll do the ID, uh, which pop that in there and see what happens. And then we'll also do something which I know definitely works, put a text in there and we'll do var um, sentiment. Um, and what we'll do on that is we will, we'll just go onto this thing here, do an add an action. We'll do another text analytics text analytics there text analytics and then you could do to text sentiment and then what you can do is uh, var line one space var line two and then on the flow response we can go into there and we can do um var line var, no it's not that it must be this detect sentiment and it's the score is what we're looking for here. So I have got my doubts about whether or not this ID is going to be work, but but we'll it's, we'll give it a go. So um, then we'll press save on this. It's saved, 
and now I'm not completely convinced. I think I'll probably have to save out of the out of the flow first. Um, so that's obviously saved. But I think if we go, if we, I think what you find on these is is if um, if you've changed something, you have to take it out and put it back in again. Now what I'll have to do on this, it's going to grab this here because the only there's not that much I've put in here, and I will need to. Um, go to the flow and I will need to remove it. I don't know if it's um, it's looking a bit unhappy there. So formulas. I may have actually accidentally removed it. So I'm just going to get rid of this because that's just junk. Um, so on this I need to go onto the flow. I'm going to go onto the flows here. Because you change it, it's usually best to... Oh, goodness sake, it's trying to add it again. Yeah. So you can see that we've got the flow. I'm going to remove it. I think I just removed it. No, remove from the app. And I'll put it back in again, uh, which I will do by going down here and then doing, clicking on it to add it. You'd think you'd you'd have a, a button to click it. It's going to add in. It should be OK. Um, no, I'll need to paste that in. Ha ha. Uh, and that should mean, I'm just going to do, there's my response, and I'm just going to do copy and paste uh, and just see if we can grab um, something in hell else from there. I, I, won't, I won't bother with the, I'll just do the sentiment here, uh, and then we'll do set gv my sentiment, and we will do is... We'll put in the var. Yeah, you can actually see the var sentiment is there. Um, and then what you can do is on this uh, piece here, what you can do is grab it and then GV my, it should be my sentiment. Sentiment will go in there. And that means that if we do my first line, so I had a really great. And then time at the power platform summit. Okay, so what will happen in there is it'll push those two together and then it will do the sentiment analysis on that. So um, so I'll just put that, got to be specific there. So hit that there. So we'll push the two together and we'll get some sentiment analysis down at the bottom there. Good. There you are. That's 0 0.96, which is as nearly as high as you can go on sentiment analysis. So 15 minutes, but I think that's really, I say really good value, if you like, that we have seen Power Apps combined with Microsoft Flow. And that is like, as soon as you can do that, you can just leverage all of the power of Microsoft Flow, which is an amazing productivity story. So hope you've enjoyed it and I will speak to you again soon.